Chat, here we go. We've got Arsenal versus Dark this time around. We had Dark on a couple days ago against Evo, and everybody after that game wanted to see Arsenal against the youngster from the Middle East. So that's what we're going to see now as Dark tries to immediately start the show match with a double reset and backflips into the ball to do so. Will Arsenal be able to prevent the pogos? Will he be able to pogo himself? According to everybody in my Twitch chat, Arsenal has been practicing his pogos. He's been streaming at least for a couple hours already today and will be streaming this live if you want to check him out. He is twitch.tv slash Arsenal. Dark trying to go the full field. Actually already faking the pogo to start the show match instead of taking the actual pogo. He flips through it on the ground. And Arsenal is going to score first. What is the kind of ping does he have here? We are on EU servers. And he's got 92. 92 to Dark 76. So decently even matchup. As Dark is already throwing the compliments in chat. So good. Thank you K, or sorry, thank you HBK for the additional $10. Already has been donated before the show match started was $30 of the prize pool. So we'll make it $40 now, courtesy of HBK. Thank you so much. I'll make sure to let these guys know the updated amount. Look at this pinch. Oh my goodness. What a goal from Arsenal. Dark helps enable it. He throws the dude as he tries to go for a wall to air dribble. He ends up just pinching it in his own net. It has an orange trail. So it was a shot by Dark, technically. He was the last one to touch the ball. But man, Arsenal starting off strong against Dark. A lot of people who've been watching Dark play once recently thought that surely Dark would get the win with ease. He is definitely a very mechanical player, but I think people forget that Arsenal is an RLCS player and has someone's experience. Not a ton, but... When you know you're, you're a known good player, like Arsenal is, you know, it doesn't take too much to get into the ones game. And I I have faith. I have faith, obviously, Arsenal up 2-0 at the start, showing that he could do it, make it 3-0. But I definitely think people were overreacting when the match was announced. I really like Arsenal's uh, car. I like this one way better than the, the brown one, to be fair, the orange team version of it. This is actually one of the better designs I've seen in a while, if I'm being honest. Just want to sit on his perspective so I can look at it. Dark's still looking for his first goal in this game. He's already tried a couple crazy shots, as he's known to do. This time it is going to be the first pogo attempt. Look at top right. Arsenal saves it off the post. Dark should be able to recover faster. Oh, Dark just did the zap dash. Dark was zap dashing to get back. And as soon as, you know, we got more than just Zapatos doing that regularly, we'll stop calling it the zap dash, maybe. But for now, he's the only one doing it. No surprise that Dark is somebody trying to throw it into his game as well. Arsenal soft flick. Going to be enough to make Dark miss. 4-0, maybe a little bit of nerves for Dark as he goes up against Arsenal. Is that a painted your band decal? I think so. I think it's your band. I think I just got a Fennec your band decal reward from watching RLCS today, but it was not painted. Full field double reset for Dark, and Arsenal gets the save. Arsenal seems to have prepped for Dark. He is ready to make these defensive maneuvers that he's going to need to because Dark is going to continue to try and clip over the top of him all game long. Dark is going to have to throw in the occasional fake if he wants to score on Arsenal here because he has been prepped for everything that Dark has thrown at him so far. And it's a 5-0 lead for the Space Station Gaming 1v1-er. Dark losing this kickoff, trying to find a way to stay in control of it. He was able to grab the midfield boost, but had to turn around to get back to the ball. It's going to be another full field dribble. And that's something we'll be saying a lot with Dark this time. The Pogo is not going to be able to find its way in. The bounce was not headed to the net. He had to try and get a really far air roll around the ball to get the shot. And still ended up putting it wide. Arsenal, the ceiling reset, 6-0. How many of you guys had this being the start of the match? 
Dark cannot seem to stop Arsenal no matter what he goes for. Dark is not from EU, he is from the Middle East, he's from Saudi Arabia. Arsenal, I imagine, most players already know from the US. Dark looking for a long shot, anything to get something on the board and that will be the first thing that goes through the net. Dark is a good all around ones player. You watch him, he streams a lot. I, I do stress that people should check him out. I don't know if he's live right now, but RL Dark one, you absolutely should hit him with a follow. Go watch him, he's been queuing a ton of ones recently. And despite the fact that he is, you know, one of the most exciting aerial attackers in the game, he does have a well-rounded one game. You can't get as far as he had in the leaderboard without being able to do, um, you know, everything that's required of a good ones player. One of the other things that he's very good at are these fake kickoffs. Well, this is a, oh, it was a read of Arsenal's fake kickoff. He was going to fake it, but he actually pulled out of the fake before uh, because he because he realized that Arsenal was not going to the kickoff, which is actually insane. The kind of quick realization that would take. And then Dark able to capitalize as he slams it off the backboard and gets his third goal. He's starting his way back. He's starting a bit late here after letting Arsenal go up 6-0. Doesn't mean he can't make it all the way there. This time another full field dribble from the back corner. I thought I heard an Arsenal pre-jump. But he is still on the ground. Dark to Pogo, the fake. That's what I'm talking about, but Arsenal still covers it. I do think the right call by Dark was to start trying to mix it up. Not always using the flip. But this time he's just a bit too slow. Arsenal is able to land back down on the ground. The defensive masterclass of Arsenal right now has been really impressive. We have watched tons of top level players not be able to stop Dark from hitting those shots when he gets to his spot, but Arsenal has been doing it with ease. He gets destroyed on this kickoff, though. Dark, standard kickoff. One into the corner, but Arsenal able to control it. 40 seconds left to go. Arsenal's in absolutely no rush to bring the ball to the orange half. Ball to air dribble from Dark. Intercepted before the pogo by Arsenal. Dark needs to get this one to the net quick unless Arsenal is able to cut it off. He pinches it with the wall before the dribble can start and that likely secures game number one. Dark and air dribble bump. We don't see him do that very often but he's got to resort to any method to get past this Fennec because he has not been able to so far and maybe bumping is the answer. 10 seconds, he could try and get a couple cheeky kickoffs to send this one to overtime, but it's not incredibly likely, and even losing the kickoff slightly into your half is enough to waste the time that Arsenal needs. So Arsenal will be taking a 1-0 lead against Dark in his second match on stream with a really impressive performance. Remember, YouTube, every subscription for the next month adds one dollar to the prize pool at the end of the year so please subscribe game number two arsenal's defense was the story of game number one will it continue to be dark not able to score his clip yet this match that he always seems to find a way to get and has been relying on more conventional ones methods to score which is a solid kickoff and a decent long shot counterattack, but Dark will get his first air dribble reset. I say first, we got to expect a lot more. Arsenal deciding not to challenge him up high at the arena when he had the chance, and he also misses the midfield boost. So he's just recovering late with no ability to get up as long as Dark is able to perform. He's going to get this goal. Nice big kickoff. We watched it from Arsenal's perspective and thought about trying to reverse challenge there to make something out of it. Dark able to take it away, playing a bit of keep away, just going to demo Arsenal. He knows he's going to have a really tough time collecting the ball for a good possession while Arsenal's in the corner with him, so just takes him off the map. He apologizes for it, though. He just wants to get to his clip. It's time to be a reset musty far away from the net. So Arsenal's able to clean it up, and another demo, so another attempt for Dark. Have to imagine he's going to go full field dribble yet again. 
Getting the reset far away from net. A second reset into a pogo. Arsenal jumping around in net and Dark actually ends up shooting it right at him. There was tons of space in net that Dark probably could have put the ball and would have been just fine. He ends up rolling it directly at the defender. The pogo was a bit far. It was a bit far away from the net, so he might not have felt like he could shoot all the way from there and get something reasonable, so he waited a bit longer and fortunately ended up just giving the ball away. More than just not a good shot, it was a direct pass for the long shot in his own net. Dark trying to speed to punish Arsenal for pressuring him close and <laughs> Dark throws the okay because I think Arsenal was trying to catch this. I want to watch it from his perspective. I think he was just trying to catch it and carry it away like he knew he had to save for sure. Yeah, yeah. He, he definitely could have flipped or done something. He just drove underneath it and let it go in. Big kick off from Dark again. This ball a bit too high to cleanly start an air dribble. It's not going to stop Dark from trying to do so though. He's got his reset. Pogo Musty! There it is! The clip you've all been waiting for. It's just a matter of time before Dark gets it. And this time, he does it as the Pogo almost comes down to the ground. Gives it that extra spice with the Musty. And has the 3-1 lead. He's coming alive in this game number two. And a lot of that has to do with these fake kickoffs. Keep giving him these opportunities to take these full field dribbles. This time he's going to fall from the ceiling on the start of this one. Not even the Musty can keep the ball from hitting the ground before the net. Arsenal about to attack the other way. I've heard he was practicing some of his own pogos, but he's not going to go pogo on this shot. He's going to keep the ball high. It doesn't ever get close to going underneath the crossbar until the moment it slots in the top shelf. My goodness. Both these guys popping off against each other right now. Dark. Can he find a way to turn this into an air dribble? I don't think so. He's just going to take a really strong power shot on the bounce. The half volley. It's like a partial pinch to get this 113 kilometer per hour. I wouldn't say it's a full on pinch. Yeah, it's actually not a pinch. In slow mo, you can tell it isn't. It's just a half volley. But a really quick one at that in order to get the 4-2 lead. Big kick off again for Dark. Gets to his spot. Really, Arsenal was just had the saves early in this series. It wasn't even necessarily that um, that Dark was like attacking poorly. He, he was getting really good shots. Just Arsenal was able to save all of them. Dark's going for yet another Pogo Musty, this time from so far away from that. He Pogoed that halfway into the orange half and then tried to shoot across the whole field with his musty. And it actually would have been able to get past a worse defender, but Arsenal's been playing so well. He's going to slot top right. What a save! I thought that was great placement by Dark. Or sorry, great placement by Arsenal as Dark recovered him from the corner. It was going to have a hard time turning back around to save the near post top right. And that he still was able to do so. Arsenal, though, scores on the follow-up. Able to pass to himself off of the curve of the arena. Actually, really great placement. To put it right where he could shoot it. Arsenal going to chase Dark down on this fake kickoff. Dark from his... Attacking corner, a triple, was it was triple? Was it triple or double, chat? Let's watch this one again. There's one, there's two, and he finished off. So it wasn't just a double, got slightly distracted. Dark, of course, capable of getting as many as you want. It is hard, you almost need to double reset if you want to attack from an air dribble on the attacking corner, because you have to chip the ball away from that and then bring it back usually that costs you at least two resets in the process to make it work out dark up two as we approach the final minute dark's going to take a wall to air dribble and arsenal fully retreated 
So letting him get to his spot, this time off the ceiling. Cannot cleanly catch the ball, and Arsenal might be able to get a counterattack here. Nice undercut from Dark, preventing Arsenal from taking the line that he would need to take if he was going to be able to score there. Dark, another dribble all the way from his back corner, and another pogo. He flips late, but Arsenal had the read. You could tell he kind of pre-jumped exactly where Dark was telegraphing he'd place it, and Arsenal has always had the edge. Always had the edge in these reads, basically, and Dark has not been able to fake and shoot in a way that surprises Arsenal yet. Arsenal taking to the skies, get able to get the reset off of just the first chip, and Dark, who's trying to react to everything, stays grounded. This pre-jump he decided to bail on and then didn't know when to challenge again and he ended up not challenging at all. Arsenal with great patience to recognize that he had forced Dark into that tough situation, not shoot early, let the ball get much closer to the net, play it off the bounce, and Dark's not going to be able to get that save. Dark trying to slot a quick double jump shot to the top shelf. Can't do so. Seems like next goal might be the winner of this game. Dark for a flick. Great play from Dark. Showing you that he's got the dribble game as well. Neither one of these guys have been doing a terrible amount of on-car dribbles to flicks. But like I said, Dark does have a very well-rounded ones game. He can take it in any way you'd like. And this time the mix-up is the perfect recipe for the game lead. Fake kickoff to try and ice this game out. He hasn't even really been taking real kickoffs, it feels like, in a while. Will Dark pass up the opportunity to clip, though? With a one-goal lead, he's not going to stop attacking. Look at this shot! <laughs> Dark! This is why everybody has to tune in for the Dark Shot Bros different. He just is. <laughs> he just is different. There's no other way to put it. Arsenal says it best. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Dark. Arsenal and Dark. We weren't sure what the story was going to be today. The story of the first game, as we talked about before, was Arsenal shutting down the fanfare of Dark. You know, if you watch just that first game, after maybe seeing some Dark ranked videos or something, you'd say, oh! Dark's a fluke. Good defenders, they stop all those shots. Now I see that it was a ruse all along. And then comes game number two. <laughs> game number two reminds everybody of just how impossible Dark can be to defend. And this time he gets his reset and musties. Arsenal switching up the way that he's going to try and defend against him. Looks to challenge him early as he gets the reset in the air. But the problem is Dark's plan was set up perfectly to counter just that. Dark, another fake kickoff. Arsenal has been really behind in terms of the fake kickoff. So this is how you beat people challenging your pogo. We always end up seeing every element of it from Dark. Arsenal looks to try and take the pogo before it happens. So what does he do? He uses the reset early and just chips it past Arsenal, even though the ball isn't headed to net after that flip. He has all the time in the world to get back around it and turn it in for a goal. Arsenal trying to go for a crazy pinch after a demo. He needs to get a read on these fake kickoffs. I feel like that's almost the, the difference right now. Arsenal's been playing well. He's been defending about as good as you can ask against Dark's air dribbles. But the problem is Dark gets so many of them because he's just destroying these fake kickoffs. Arsenal's falling for it just about every time and then he's having to deal immediately with an offensive attempt from Dark every single possession which is going to be so much easier if you can just control those kickoffs a bit and get a couple first chances right now Dark and his magnificence misses wide but just doubles and bumps Arsenal to be able to finish it off Arsenal wins this kickoff. Hey, talking about what Arsenal needs to do. And he hears 
as he gets a solid diagonal kick off here. To be fair though, that's because Dark didn't fake it. We were mostly talking about how the fact that Arsenal needs to read these fakes from Dark or it's going to be almost impossible to win the series. Dark. The resets. And the wave dashes don't lead to anything. Arsenal, nice flick. Air rolling around to use the backflip. Dark shadowing a bit closer than he would have liked to. Ended up having to just go full retreat. Could not jump to make that save. Fake kickoff and once again, Arsenal hands the ball right to Dark. And now Dark immediately gets an aerial challenge and, and that's what's just been happening way too much in this game. Look at this doink by Dark. Arsenal's there to stop it. Ceiling reset, doink another, sorry, doink, Dark another pre-jump on Arsenal's dribble. This is great placement from Arsenal. Finds the bottom left as Dark swings wide on his recovery. He was riding up the side wall to cover anything middle of the net or higher. So what does Arsenal do? Finds the bottom left of the net. Dark looking to try and gain a possession here as Arsenal chases him down. Rides up the wall in order to prevent any physical play from coming and Dark has to panic to side flip to get that save. So he's gonna have absolutely nothing left over. Can Arsenal punish him for it? Arsenal's gonna try and pogo himself. And I think that that is so important. I love when people try and pogo. Not because of course it didn't work for Arsenal, but to point out how impressive what Dark is doing is it's not just that people, you know, aren't really trying to pogo. It's, it's really hard. It's not easy to get the kind of bounce that Dark gets every time. And that's why I think it'll be a bit before we see anybody catch up to Dark in his pogos. Because his pop is so, so strong. Dark air will bump. Arsenal able to get the save. That's the ball. Drops low enough for him to get it. Easily. Arsenal ceiling resets. He's just going to try at 50. He can't really catch up to the ball and shoot, so he has no other choice. Dark's counterattack not there. And luckily, he was prepped for Arsenal just cutting the ball directly towards the orange net because otherwise he might have gone flying past. Tie game in a minute 20. Arsenal, a double that's just going to give Dark space and let him get to a dribble. He's trying to close the distance right now, but can't. Dark ceiling reset knows if he plays it fast, Arsenal's gonna be recovering late and Arsenal still gets the save. Credit to Arsenal, because that placement was good too. About as far away as he could manage from the recovering Arsenal. He's gonna take a quick camera check to see if he can demo Dark, which he can. So now he's got a ton of space. He's been liking these resets off the ceiling, but this time he won't take a ceiling reset. It'll be a ball reset on the dribble and I don't know if he just didn't get it or what. Dark says sorry for taking it away. I don't know why. Maybe he's just sorry that the game robbed him of his reset. 30 seconds. Next goal. So crucial for either one of these. Dark's going to go all the way from his back corner. Did he double that off the ceiling? going to be an easy save. In fact, Arsenal might even be able to counter this. That long shot had to be it, though. Dark will be back in time before the next shot. Dark faking that ceiling challenge. Might have been enough to slow Arsenal down there as he was looking to take a dribble. Just seeing Dark up there might have discouraged him from doing so. And then Dark able to get control of the ball. This will probably hit the ground. So it'll be overtime. Will we see a fake kickoff from Dark? And will Arsenal read it? I think it's the story of this overtime kickoff. It is a fake, and it is not red. Dark, once again, gains control and quickly has boost and ball. A demo. It should be very easy to finish, and I told you. I told you the story of the game, especially once I saw overtime, was going to be whether or not Arsenal reads the fake kickoff. He needs to either do some kind of delay. Something that will work, even if he's wrong. Arsenal has to try and throw it in, whether it's a slight delay kickoff, and then he can notice quicker or have more time to notice that Dark is faking. It's, it's got to be something. But Dark 
We'll go up two to one. Game number four. Arsenal looked solid in that game number three, but Dark was the one able to come out on top. The difference, the fake kickoffs. Arsenal double reset to start this game. Not a bad start from him. Dark has been trying to be incredibly active on defense all series long, including super early pre-jumps that he then bails out of and flying to the ceiling, just like he did there to discourage Arsenal. And I think towards the end of regulation on the previous match, that was a great idea from him. I think it stopped Arsenal from maybe taking an attempt that he could have scored. But there, going to the ceiling, helped contributed to his demise. Dark trying to slot it, and he does! Arsenal, who didn't have any boost, could not get to that spot. Left was zero. On one pad, he was going to go in and out of the net, and he actually didn't fully commit to it. I feel like if he... Oh, because he had to time it. He was trying not to get there too soon. That was going to be tough. Great play from Dark. Delay kick out from Arsenal. And that's not going to work out, so that must not be the answer. Of course, the delay would have been really nice if he had seen if Dark... Well, he didn't really... He like almost reversed into the 50. He used to commit a bit more... Once it actually, once Stark is actually coming to the ball, he could probably workshop that fake. Or that delay, I should say. He's got to workshop something. Dark. Full field dribble. Just trying to push it with speed. If Arsenal finds this double, it'd be nutty, but he can't do it. Dark sees the ball rolling up his back wall and he thinks, what a great opportunity to score! The Pogo, he can't use the reset to finish it off. But wait, the bump! Now he will! He will get his goal! There's no position on the field that the ball can be in that Dark doesn't think this is a great opportunity to take it to net. Maybe hit a Pogo along the way. Arsenal doing a bit better on this fake kickoff. It's still going to result in a possession for Dark, but less of Arsenal. Oh my goodness, Dark! What a save from Arsenal. That last reset got so much more power than I was expecting. Luckily for Arsenal, he was expecting that power. Otherwise, that would have been quite the triple reset clip. Arsenal turning and diving on the ball right now. Knows that it's probably wise not to let Dark even start his shots if he wants to get back in the series. That shot was maybe not good enough though. And now he's forced to give Dark an opportunity. It was a quad? Wait, that final one was a quad? Well, Arsenal saved it nonetheless. Reverse dribble for Dark. Pulling out the tricks that Mile coined. A while back in the day. Reset from Dark. Did he get another one there as he fell on the ball? Never really seemed to have a scoring strategy with that dribble. Now Arsenal couldn't read the early challenge fast enough. Dark takes it away. Scores one on the ground this time around. Seems to have Arsenal figured out. Flag says Dark. Well... Worked out for you. So it could be worse. Arsenal in the dark's corner. Nice pre-flip. Take the ball. Dark will go out to the midfield. Try and get 100 of his own. And then he's just going to almost own goal. Dark now no boost left over in the process of getting back. Arsenal now full field ahead of him. To, oh, he tried another Pogo. The Pogo not quite working for Arsenal. Dark must have some special kind of car to make those work for him. Ooh, Dark trying to make a save off of the wrong side of the inside of his net. And yet, he still did. Arsenal just 
shot it slow enough. Dark now. Ceiling reset into a double flip reset. And Arsenal is there. The problem is that he's also going to be able to get an easy goal because Dark right now just needs to make sure he doesn't hand Arsenal opportunities to get back in this game. He has totally shut him down in the past few minutes. And it feels like the only way he'll be getting back is if Dark gets a bit greedy on his attacks and leaves opportunities like that. Dark, another pogo. Will he use the reset? He'll wait on the bounce. Arsenal had been reacting to the pogos a lot of the times in this series and been able to get these saves. So what does Dark do? He waits until it's all the way on the ground and then <laughs> wave dashes to pop the ball over Arsenal. He says he's so lagging. Oh no. He's lagging this hard. And uh, this is how he's playing. Arsenal is reset, challenged immediately by Dark. Now taking it to his back wall. This is his almost favorite place to start his <laughs> air dribbles from. Arsenal is recognized though that Dark is just going to try and get a million resets on his path across the field, so he just stopped him from doing that. This pinch is not enough. Dark throws the okay for whatever reason. Seems like both these two seem to have recognized that it's likely a Dark series win. Ending 3-1 here. He's going to pass the ball away. Maybe we're turning into a bit of a freestyle 1v1 to finish. It's always fun to have Dark in a freestyle 1v1. Oh, he wants him to try a pogo. Yeah, all right, Arsenal's taking another chance. A pogo before the series ends. Ceiling reset for Arsenal on the pogo. Oh man, it's hard. <laughs> I mean, I, I like I, the I, the reason why I like Arsenal doing this is it makes you realize Dark is so good at it. It's not like it's it's not super easy to do. You don't just point your car down at the ground and you get a massive pop. You have to really work on it. And that's what I was talking about before. You might have heard me mention if you watched all of Dark's games. Every time the goal explosion sends him away, every time there's a free moment, he always tries to land as a pogo and pop off the ground. Which is just a good way to always be practicing, right? Every time you have an opportunity and you're coming down to the ground where nothing matters, turn and try and see if you can get your car to pogo off the ground. Just as a way to get reps of doing it because obviously Dark has. But man, what a series.